Hey, what's up guys? Recently I saw a first generation iPad Pro online uh, going for $200 and uh, it was too tempting to pass up and so I bought it and after using it for two weeks I'll let you guys know what it's like using this now. In this review I'll go over whether the first gen iPad Pro uh, whether it's still usable in 2020, four years after it debuted. Is it laggy or is it smooth? Is the processor and RAM and RAM good enough to do daily tasks such as like you know email, web browsing, watching videos, and playing video game apps. Um, I'll also comment on the battery life and what it's missing compared to the newest iPad Pro. First, I'm going to go over what this iPad has going for it. The first gen iPad Pro comes with an A9X processor and two gigabytes of RAM. Everyday task runs pretty smoothly, uh, as you've seen. Surfing web pages is a breeze, and I hardly notice any lag. I have multiple apps open in the background with no noticeable slowing. Watching videos is also like pretty flawless experience, so overall performance is good. Playing regular games on this iPad also went pretty well. Uh, overall, I'm pretty pleased with this, uh, with its performance. The battery for the iPad Pro is actually pretty solid uh, from my experience. Like even though this iPad is four years old, I use it about an hour to two hours per day, and it's lasted me about four to five days before I need to recharge. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied, like even despite the age. Now, one of the biggest reasons why you would want to buy this iPad is the price. Uh, to get an iPad Pro for two to three hundred dollars is amazing. I mean, that's the same price as the seventh generation regular iPad. But with this iPad Pro, uh, you can get it for the same price on eBay or Amazon, and uh, it has a lot more features than a regular iPad. Now, one special feature that the iPad Pros have are the four speakers instead of only two on the regular iPad. And the sound is immersive, it's super loud, and it's, uh, it's just basically the best speakers for any tablet. And uh, it's uh, only on the iPad Pros. Another unique feature that the iPad Pros have is the True Tone Display. It basically adjusts the white balance on your display uh, uh, based, on the, based on your environment's uh, lighting. So white balance is automatically adjusted. So now you're probably asking, so what is this iPad Pro missing? And uh, the first thing is missing is uh, the display is really old. Like it's an old design. You see those giant bezels. Uh, so yeah, the more modern iPads have a much more sleeker design, narrow, narrower bezels, and so just uh, this design is old and there's no face ID, so you see that fingerprint button. The newer iPads have a face ID and there is, and it's just much more sleek. Another drawback for this iPad is that uh, it needs uh, the first generation Apple Pencil, so if you have a second generation Pencil, it's not going to work and that you have to buy the old generation. So uh, this is this will mostly affect people who are artists or who use the Apple Pencil a lot. All right, another really important drawback is the Lightning port because uh, the newer iPads have a USB-C port, and that would allow you to get a, a USB-C hub, which will give you access to like you know an HDMI port, USB regular USB ports, uh, SD cards. So basically you can expand the ports by using a USB-C hub and that you're stuck with the lightning port in this iPad. In conclusion, this iPad is great for media consumption and everyday tasks. However, um, you know, if you're looking for an iPad with a bigger and better screen um, and a faster processor, or if you, have, if you use the second generation Apple Pencil, or, or if you need that USB-C hub and the port, you should go with the 2018 iPad Pro or newer. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please click on like and subscribe. Take care and see you guys in the next video. Alright, peace out.